When you let it, art is capable of healing parts of your heart that you didn't know existed. Art demands that you grow, explore your truths, and reveal your story. It teaches patience and constantly challenges. In all its forms, art is the best reflection of our infinite human experiences. My name is Seth Jones, and art saved my life. I'm 22 years old and a proud Kansas City native. My home is here at the Arts Asylum in the historic Paseo West neighborhood of KC. This beautiful stone church was built in the 1800s and in the last decade has been renovated into an artist community complete with a theater, studios, galleries, and living spaces. This studio is my sanctuary where I do life. I make my living selling commission works on social media. Also, I'm an actor when cast in Kansas City professional stage productions. My style as a visual artist has changed quite a bit and I dabble in many different mediums. I'd probably call myself a mixed media artist. I'm constantly trying new things and learning different styles. I'm self-taught, no college degree, and in time I've become truly grateful for that. I never feel like I have restrictions on what I'm creating or that there are any limits to what I can potentially do. Music, nature, neighborhoods, buildings, animals, different cultures, inspiration is everywhere. But I'm most inspired by people's stories. Sharing one's story is the most important thing anyone can do. Stories guide us, teach us, and help us to understand others and ourselves. Stories help us to learn from the past, recognize our present, and create for our futures. Two years ago, I hit rock bottom. I had just gotten out of a severely unhealthy relationship. Substance abuse, emotional abuse, it was toxic and it had all taken its toll. I was dealing with severe health issues and my life was in a very dark place. I was diagnosed with severe depression and anxiety and was put on medication. The confusion I felt within myself was terrible and I just didn't recognize me anymore. In September of that year, I moved into the Arts Asylum, hoping to figure out my next move something I couldn't see. Clarity, peace, and my sense of self, they were gone. But I had landed in this space, the Arts Asylum. My creativity was absent, but I found myself surrounded and supported by a community of artists, patrons of the arts, and people who simply extended their help. It took a while, but a few months later, I felt myself turn a corner in the healing process. My bliss returned. I was driving to my parents' house, I remember it had been a bad day, but as I drove, I started seeing images and text for a children's book in my head. It was the first time in a very long time that I had felt that wonderful, old, familiar burst of creativity, an energy I hadn't experienced in a very long time. I knew I had to bring into the world what I saw in my head. So I sat down that day and began writing and illustrating a storybook about a boy who collects his dreams in a jar and uses them to create and explore an imaginary world. It became a children's book that I called The Jar Full of Light. The Arts Asylum gave me art supplies and a studio space to illustrate the book. I didn't leave that studio for a month. I illustrated 21 pages for The Jar Full of Light, and in that time, the Arts Asylum also helped me organize a stage production of the book. Uh, we worked with kids from Restart, a shelter for families just located across the street from the Arts Asylum. I'll never forget this community our community coming together to produce, act, and create a show from a book that I had only just created. That book, that experience, and this community, they were and are a big turning point. Answering that call, that sudden flourish of creativity still resounds with me. It still affects how I live my life to this day. This place is beyond special to me. It's home. Courtney and Alex and Corey, the people who own this building and run the Arts Asylum, have not only opened the door to so many opportunities, but also have helped me to find a creative and professional freedom that I've never experienced before in my life. They've helped put me in the invaluable position to help others. The Arts Asylum, this organization, it's incredible. Its outreach is prolific. The support the Arts Asylum gives to artists is amazing, but their real work is serving the entire community. The Arts Asylum works with Restart and gives kids access to art supplies and helps them express themselves through different artistic mediums. They have created a safe place to create for so many people. 
not only artists, but everyone in the community. Of course, it's a total wonderland of creativity and the diversity of the artists who work here and share here is incredible. I've grown these last few years and still this difficult, beautiful journey continues. Being a full-time artist is just as hard as they said it would be and I couldn't imagine myself doing anything else. It has helped me heal, rediscover myself, and recenter myself. I still deal with depression, I still ask for help, and I still evaluate and reevaluate what I'm doing. For now, I'm going to keep creating and letting people know that art is for absolutely everyone. I'm also going to keep sharing my story and encourage others to share theirs. We are not made to live in darkness. And no matter how dark things get, I will always find solace in recognizing that light always wins.